You said that you would hold me down. Yeah. You promised me that you would always be around. You promised me that you would never let me down. I'm only going on with you. I'm only going on with you. I'm only going on with you. Popping YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lex, and I am back once again with another story time. Guys, today's story time <laughs> is going to be on the time that two knuckleheads almost fought over me. Okay, all right, so I'm at a stage in my life, not now, but then, where I'm kind of dating, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily, I don't have a boyfriend, I'm not in a relationship, but I'm casually dating here, dating there, because guys are wanting to get to know me, guys are wanting to take me out, and this and that, so I'm like, why not, you know what I'm saying? Let's nitpick through the, you know what I'm saying, process of elimination, get rid of who's not a qualifier, and you know what I'm saying, just see who's, who's what. Basically, give these guys a chance, get to know them. So... At the time, I was seeing this guy. We were not dating, we were not in a relationship. For the sake of this video, we're gonna call him Mark. Guy number one is named Mark, okay? So Mark and I, we were talking. It had been established that we both liked each other, whatever, that was cool, that was fine. However, he did not make it official, he didn't, none of that, we were not official. He had never taken me out on a date. We were not dating, but we were seeing each other at the time. I'm a student at a and and he was always at a and He didn't attend, but he was always there. So, we're talking, we're talking. He'll come see me sometimes at the dorm. We'll chill, we'll kick it. Nothing extravagant, nothing major. Kicking it, honestly. So, I ended up, one night, I was doing a Instagram Live. Instagram Live video. And this guy ended up, you know, commenting on it. After I end the live video, he got in my DMs. So he slid through the DMs, guys. And um, we talked for a little bit. He ended up FaceTiming me, asking me for my number. I gave it to him, we ended up FaceTiming. So we're FaceTiming that night. He's cute, he's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's you whatever. We end up talking for a few days. So we're talking for a few days, FaceTime, all the other stuff. And he's like, are you single? I am, like I'm not in a relationship. I don't have a boyfriend, I don't at the time. So I'm like, I am single, yes. So he's like, I really wanna take you on a date. Cool, so I accept. So I'm preparing for the date. It's now, what, Friday, the weekend, and I'm getting all cute, whatever. Mind you, this guy asked me out. You asked me out, clearly it's a date, right? I didn't wanna overdo it. Honestly, I have a tendency to often overdress, not just on a date, just in general. I had a feeling that he wasn't gonna be all speak and span like he should be on a date. So I decided I'm, a, I'm just gonna dress down a little bit. I get in the car, he doesn't come open the door. Red flag number one. I'm sitting down next to him now, we're talking. He's like, so where are we going? We haven't established any plan, nothing. So we ended up going to out to eat. And then he said, after we go out to eat, we can go see a movie. So we go to TGI Fridays and as we get out, number one, he didn't get the door. Again, as I'm getting out, he didn't come around and get my door. I'm sorry, I'm a queen and you don't get the door, you get a red X, red X. I get up, I get out, and as we're getting out of our side of the car and meeting in the middle, I now see that I'm taller than him. No. And then having conversation with him, he had no substance. Like he wasn't talking about anything, he was not speaking with intelligence. He didn't have any conversation. There was no chemistry, no click, no conversation, no nothing. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to cut this guy. But I'm the type, I don't really like to hurt people's feelings. So I was going to eventually draw away from him and then let him know I don't think it's working out. But I didn't wanna just cut him just like right then. It's been days now since the date and I really haven't reached out to him. He ends up having or being a promoter for this club that was having this party. Me and my girls wanted to go out. He had already told me on the date that he was promoting this party and that I should come or whatever. He'd get me in free, yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, okay, I got a connection. So get to the club. This guy never comes out. 
he acts like he doesn't understand English. I'm texting him like, we're outside. Can you come get us? Like, we're not paying. You told us we were getting in free. Where are you? Long story short, we got fed up, tired of waiting. We left. I said, forget it. So now he's officially done for. Like, I have nothing to say to him. I got a call from Mark, the guy who I was just explaining, who I went on the date with. I wasn't feeling him. We'll call him Chris. We'll call him Chris. So Mark, the guy I told you I was casually seeing, he calls. And he's like, I'm in the area. What, a block over from your dorm? Come over. It's, it's my boy's birthday. We're going to drink, have to play Uno. Just chill. So I'm like, cool. Go over there. Kicking it with him. So everybody's been drinking. Everybody's been drinking. Drinking plenty. Trust me. So now it's about the time that I'm going to leave. So I'm like, he's going to walk me out. So we walk out. And then for some reason, we ended up sitting down on the couch. So we're sitting down on a couch that's like in the lobby area. We're sitting there talking. He's got my phone in his hand. Of course, the odds were not in my favor this night. I get a FaceTime call from Chris. Chris, the guy who took me on the date. Chris, the guy who was supposed to get me into the club that night. Get a FaceTime call from Chris. Mark is like, who is this? I'm like, it's nobody, just give me the phone. It's not a big deal. He answers the phone. He's answering the phone. He's a hothead, I already know him. I know he's a hothead, so this is not gonna go well, I already know. So he answers the phone, FaceTime. He's like, hello, hello, who are you? I'm looking for Lex. No, nigga, you looking for me. Sometimes I I'm like, give me the phone, okay? Give me the phone, just, just please, give me the phone. He like, nah, 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 nah. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, I don't, <laughs> can we just hang up the phone? Like, y'all don't need to talk. Why are y'all talking? So now Mark is getting upset. He's like, who are you? Why are you calling her phone? Like, what's good? What do you need? What's up? And I'm like, oh, can you hang up? Can you hang up? And I'm trying to get the phone. He like, nah, 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 move, move, move. He pushing me, get back. I'm like, this is my phone. This is my situation. This is my problem. It's not your problem. Hand it over, like, he's not giving it to me. So, I think I finally get to the phone, hang it up. So I hang up the phone, now Mark's mad at me. Who was that? Nah, nah, nah. Listen, he doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter who he is, you're not my man. I'm just like, please, let's just leave it alone. So now he's mad, he's getting up. Nah, nah, nah. When did you know? So at this point, I have the phone back. I then get a text from Chris. I proceed to open the text. Mark sees it, open it, <laughs> and the caption I want to say said, you ain't ready. And it was a picture of Chris with a gun in his hand. He like, what's good? I told y'all that there were red flags with Chris already. I didn't know he was about that life, but clearly he's about this life now. And I already know that Mark is about this life. So I'm like, this is not gonna go well at all. Now, Mark is FaceTiming Chris back and he's like, what's good, where you at? I'm coming to you, where you at? No, I'm coming to you, where you at? I'm like, listen, just hang up. Why are we doing all this? Why are we doing all this? You don't know him, he don't know you. Like, seriously, like, for what reason? Hang up, like it doesn't matter. Long story short, guys, Mark runs into the house or the dorm and he's like getting his Guys, he's like, code red, code red. And they're like, code red. Oh, yeah, we, let's go, let's. I'm like, for what? It's no code red. It's no code red. Everybody, please, just relax. And so I'm trying to calm Mark down at this point. And he's just like, honestly, Lex, I'm not trying to hear nothing you saying. You're not trying to hear nothing I'm saying. I haven't done anything wrong. And you're not my man. Like, I don't understand why. Like, this is too much. Long story short, guys, I could not calm Mark down, so I decided I was gonna leave. I said, if y'all are gonna fight, if y'all are gonna meet up and have a shootout, that's on your time, that's your business. I don't want any parts of this, I'm leaving. So I proceed to leave and go to my dorm, go back home and go to bed. Like, I'm not about to lose sleep over this. I've done my part, I've tried to, to, to calm the situation, but nobody cares about what Alexis has to say, obviously. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave whatever and he's like i'm gonna call you in the morning don't call me like don't call me because you're doing way too much right now like i don't really have much to say to you so moral of the story guys for me i would never date more than one person at a time after that even though i wasn't in a relationship i you just you gotta pick your battles like if there's no straddling the fence you either here or there like decide who you want to be with and be with that person just 
it just got so messy so fast and it was just a mess so i ended up having to cut chris off because i already told y'all i was gonna cut chris off anyway i ended up texting him the next day i was like look last night was uncalled for i thought that you were way out of line so for that reason i can't continue talking to you and he responds like i don't even i mean that's a given we're over i don't know why you're even texting me don't act like you cut me off i cut you off okay so that was that and as far as mark mark is actually the same guy from the story that i was telling you all about about new year's and how he was about to fight this other guy so <laughs> mark had to go never date a hothead like you can't tame a hothead or control a hothead so you might want to just not fight that battle but it's been a pleasure guys i love you guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you leave comments let me know what type of videos you would like to see and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos love you guys i will do something special when i hit 500 subscribers and i'm really close so see you next time you said that you would hold me down you promised me that you would always be around you promised me that you would never let me down I'm only going off with you, I'm only going off with you, I'm only going off with you.